Hey there, it's Olivia Savannah here from Olivia's Catastrophe and today I'm here with a big book haul with loads and loads of books and I'm here to tell you all about these books that have joined my shelves. I had a bad day in February and I decided to cheer myself up by spending the rest of my Christmas gift card which I hadn't finished spending so I got a hardcover of An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson which looks absolutely stunning. I've actually already read this, this was the first Margaret Rogerson book I'd ever read. I read this in Italy, I got a vlog and I was just laughing and smiling and having the best fun when I read this and since then I've read and enjoyed every single book Margaret Rogerson has published. I only own this one in paperback which was from somebody's unhaul, I read an ebook for review copy and I just love her book so much that I decided I wanted to have a hardcover copy for my shelves and I finally got myself one. Massive thank you to the publisher for Content Warning Everything by Akweki and Mezzi. This is their poetry collection. I'm a big fan of poetry. I'm a big fan of Akweki and Mezzi's writing. So I'm absolutely thrilled to see what they do with poetry. And as well as that with my gift card, I got myself Dear Centurion, which is Akweki and Mezzi's spiritual memoir. And I've never read this before, but I have recently been reading quite a bit of Akweki and Mezzi's works and it just put me in such a mood that when I thought, what unread book do I want to spend my gift card on this was number one top of my list I love a good memoir I'm so curious to see what a quakey mezzi does with the format and with this genre again with that gift card I got myself a hardback copy of on the come up by Angie Thomas with the US cover I read this one last year and I think it was one of my best books of the year in 2022 it was fantastic I loved it I love Angie Thomas's book so far I've got one more to go but I'm collecting them all in hardcover with the US covers because I think they look so much nicer than the UK editions and so this completes my collection of hardcover US editions for Angie Thomas thank you to the publisher for the review copy of In the Lives of Puppets by TJ Klune this is a combination of fantasy sci-fi where we follow these three robots and a human who live in the forest and their home is safe and protected and isolated from everyone else but one of them is building an AI which alerts the people of the society to their location and suddenly their home is no longer safe and they need to kind of escape and go somewhere else. That's what I've gathered this one is about. I really enjoyed the TJ Klune book that I read last year and so I'm looking forward to reading more of his work. Okay, lots of these are from publishers so just granted they're from publisher unless I say otherwise. This one is Ma'am by Jessica George. I actually hauled this one a while ago in proof but they sent me a finished copy as well. I just see this one everywhere. Black reviewers are loving it, other reviewers are loving it and it's about a black carer who's coming into her own who wants to be independent and wants to discover herself and I just heard that it's beautifully written and beautifully done and an amazing story and I am ready to dive into it as well. Oh so these are all by the same author, they were all sent by Book Break, thank you very much and these are a collection of Emma Lord's backlist and her latest book. So I think the latest one is When You Get The Chance but they also sent me You Have A Match begin again and also tweet cute which was on my wish list so I'm very excited about all of these. Emma Lord is an author who I've just heard so many good things about across the years of me being in the book world. She's a young adult contemporary author apparently her writing style is amazing and she writes really sweet and cute stories but also ones that have some good themes in them as well. I'm so 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 excited I really think I should do an Emma Lord reading vlog so let me know what you think but I'm particularly excited for When You Get The Chance, which is the latest one, and also Tweet Cute, which just sounds like it's gonna be a really fun, like social media related story. So very excited to have these in my collection. And then the last book that I got with my gift card from Christmas is the Black Unicorn by Audre Lorde. This is one of my favourite poetry collections ever and I just, I love it so much. Audre Lorde was black lesbian and she was really talking about intersectionality but in this one you've got like romantic poems, you've got like poems on blackness, on womanhood and they are all so very well written. It was also revolutionary at the time to see like a woman writing to another woman in a love poem and it's the first work of hers that I ever read but when I read it I borrowed a copy from my sister 
and I've wanted to have my own copy of it for my shelves ever since then and I finally spent my gift card and chose to get it and I'm very happy to have it on my shelves. Okay, all the rest of these are from publishers. So we have the paperback edition of Black Cake by Charmaine Wilkerson, which I was sent unsolicited, very happy that I received it. I did recently haul this because I spent part of my Christmas gift card on the hardback edition. So now I've got two copies, but yes, this one is about a woman who dies and they receive an unexpected inheritance, which calls out a lot of the family members and a traditional black cake as well. And it sounds like it's going to be about the complexities of family, about grief, but also about culture. And that sounds exciting. And then very, very excited. Thank you so much for this review copy of Nigeria Jones by Ibi Zaboy. I've read two other books by Ibi Zaboy before and really enjoyed both of them. And this one has a gorgeous, I don't know if you can see it right with the light, but a really gorgeous cover. And it's following Nigeria Jones. It's about discovering who you are and your identity, but also speaking up and being brave and fighting for your own revolution. And I think it's a young adult book. Got my buzzword themes in it and it's by the Queen of Isa Boy, so all good things. Have The Chance to Fly by Ali Stroker and this is my last birthday gift to come through. Thank you to my younger sister Simone for sending it to me and she gave this to me and there was like some complications with it which is why it's here so late. This one is written own voices by a wheelchair user who's a singer and it's about a wheelchair user who's a singer and wants to do singing in school and that's all I really need to know but I'm always looking for more books with really good disability rep that is by disabled authors themselves because I believe they write the best disability rep I wonder why and it's just going to be so nice to see that in a middle grade book so looking forward to reading this one publisher also sent project naught and this is a graphic novel it will be in color my copy is just in black and white so i don't know why i started to show you the pages but in this one it's got queer vibes we're following this character who I think there's time travel involved where students can learn about history by traveling back into history and he starts to form a crush on the guide that's there with him and I think something must go wrong because there's a story here somewhere but when it was a graphic novel with sci-fi time traveling and queer I just thought you know what I'm probably gonna really like this I should read it and then Another thank you for Rootless. This is by Crystal Zara Appiah. And this is, uh, look at that proof. Very well done. This is a story about love and marriage and the complications that sometimes that can be brought into it. I've heard it's a really good black British story. I'm really looking for really good black British writing. And it sounds like it's gonna focus on relationships, but the complexities of it, the depth of it. And it's making me think of An American Marriage by Tayari Jones but make it black British. So I'm looking forward to giving this one a spin. This is The Millhouse Murders and this is by Yukito Ayatsuji and this is a translated Japanese murder mystery book. And we are following this abandoned mill house, which is quite old and nobody's there. So after a car accident, this person has lived at this abandoned mill house by themselves, wearing a rubber mask. And a detective gets summoned because a theft happens and a series of murders happens around the mill house. And one more thing, a baffling disappearance. So that is why the detective goes there. I love a good detective murder mystery. I really like that we're seeing more translated ones. Looking forward to this, the cover's great. Ah, uh, we have Fireborn, Phoenix and the Frost Palace by Ashling Fowler. So last year I read Fireborn, which is the first book in this series. It's a middle grade adventure, magical story, and it was so, so good. You follow 12, who kind of joins this school which trains you to be part of the system that they have going there, which fight against wrongs. But when a student gets kidnapped, she kind of goes after the student without permission, and she brings along some friends and people who are not quite friends yet with her on this magical adventure fantasy journey. It was so much fun and it was so well done and it was the start of me going on this middle grade fantasy kick that I've been on ever since. So I'm so excited to get the sequel. This was my most anticipated middle grade read for this year. Thank you so much to the publicist for sending me this proof. Looking forward to reading that. We also have Cursed Bread, and this is by Sophie McIntosh. So a while back, I'm not sure how many of you guys will remember, I read The Water Cure by Sophie McIntosh, and that book was so strange and wonderful and weird, and I loved it. And I haven't read any Sophie McIntosh since, but I'm looking forward to reading this one, which just sounds similarly as strange and odd. I think this one is also historical. So we're following a character who's the baker's wife, and she's a plain 
unremarkable person, largely ignored by her husband, and then she burns with the secret desire to be extraordinary. I think she's going to act on that desire. So that is what I'm looking forward to in this one. It just sounds like it's going to be really good. I love the cover. I think it it incites mystery itself. To my sisters. So I went to an event and I picked this one up there. It's by Renee Kapuku and Courtney Daniela Boteng, and it's about friendships. So even though it's called To My Sisters, it's about those friendships that feel like sisterhoods and what it means to have someone who's always got your back like that and a guide to building lifelong friendships. And I personally think I do a very good job at choosing friends. I've got some really good friends who've been with me for quite a while and also I have my sisters who are also basically my friends. And so it's just interesting to see what this guide will bring and if I can enact it into any of the friendships that I'm forming because I'm always forming new ones too. I have a short story collection called called If I Survive You by Jonathan Escoffrey and this one is following a Jamaican family who live in Miami and they survive Hurricane Andrew so it's about the devastation after that trying to the aftermath and trying to survive but they're also battling against racism and poverty I believe so it's about them coming to terms with that as a family as a Jamaican diasporic family immigrant family Sounds good, sounds good. I've been reading short stories a lot lately, I really enjoy them. The Memory Keeper by Rebecca Mahoney and this is a young adult book which deals with magic and grief. Ooh, I'm just gonna read you the first paragraph of the synopsis because it describes it so well. For generations, a monster called the Memory Eater has lived in the caves of Whistler Beach, surviving off unhappy memories of those who want to forget. And for generations, the Harlows have been in charge of keeping her locked up and keeping her fed. And I guess something's gonna change there where they don't want to do that anymore. And it will be such an interesting encounter. And the cover, again, a stunning cover. Another young adult one, this one's for you by Kate Sweeney. And as far as I understand, this one involves a road trip, it involves a boy and a girl, and it involves them both running away from things, but also maybe finding them on their journey together. I basically accepted this one because it has Morgan Matson vibes. I've only got one more Morgan Matson book to read, so I definitely need to find an author that encapsulates that road trip, Morgan Matson young adult vibe but in a different book. And then last but not least, we have The Art of Starting, How to Build Your Creative Business from the Ground Up by Iona Mathieson and Romy St. Clair, who run Sage Flowers, florist business in Brixton in South London. And they basically started from nothing and they've created this flourishing florist business. And they talk about how they did that and basically give you steps to starting up your own creative business. This one was in the goodie bag. I didn't choose it myself. Would I have done? No. But after hearing them talk about it, I'm actually quite interested to read it and see what they offer, especially as these are people who are coming from a background where you don't start with a lot of money, where you don't start with a lot of grounding, where you don't start with some of the leg ups that other people get and also one of the people in the business is black so she's talking about diversifying different creative industries which are typically white such as the florist industry. So very interested to see what this can bring to the table. And there you have it, those are all of the books. I'm very impressed that I managed to film this in 17 minutes. Please let me know in the comment section down below what was the last book you bought, received, borrowed or acquired. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more and don't forget to hit that notification bell to be updated every time I have a new video and you know what they say. Onwards and upwards. Excelsior.